Hi, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota. This video tutorial is going to show you how to find the minimum and maximum of a quadratic function using your TI Inspire graphing calculator. This is your home screen. Uh, what you're seeing here is where you can choose to create new documents or uh, create new apps within documents for the purpose of doing your math. Now there's three different ways to start graphing. One is by choosing the graph from the scratch pad. The second way is by choosing the graph app uh, from the lower row of the calculator screen. And the third way is to choose a new document and to create a graph. And we're going to choose uh, that method. So use the click pad or uh, press number one to choose new document. Now you, it'll be asking you for um, what to create and we're going to choose add graphs. So you can press number two or use the keypad. And here we go. The top line of the screen is prompting you to enter a function. So here's where you can put it in. x squared plus 3x minus 12. And then press the Enter key. And here's your quadratic function. It's a parabola and it opens upward, so it has a minimum. But unfortunately, the minimum is out of view of the screen. So use the touchpad part of your calculator uh, keypad to use your cursor, press down, and then drag in an upward motion so that you can see the bottom of your parabola. And there we go. That's pretty good. Now to find the minimum of your parabola. Press the menu key, and we're going to choose Analyze graph number six. And here we go. We want to find the minimum. All right. Now it's asking you for a lower bound. And as you move the cursor over the screen, it's asking you to define a region. So you're going to position this to the left of the lowest point of your function, and then either click or press enter, and then move it to the right of the lowest part of your parabola and press enter again and there we go it uh, is showing us visually and giving us the coordinates of the minimum of the parabola negative 1.5 and negative 14.3 now what I suggest you do because the uh, y-axis is obscuring um, the coordinates is you can move the text over a little bit like that now it's a little bit easier to see and what we can do is we can um, increase the accuracy of what the y coordinate is reading us. Right now it's only to the nearest tenth. Here's what you should do. Press a menu and then choose actions and what we're going to do is we're going to change attributes. So choose number four and then press enter. Now here's where you can guide over here and it's changed to kind of a dotted arrow. Select the text and now you'll see custom value precision. You can use the uh, arrow keys on your calculator to increase it to 4 and then press enter and now we see that the true value of the y coordinate is negative 14.25 finding the maximum of a function is equally easy now we're gonna have to edit this function so uh, the best way to do that is to press the keys on your keypad control and G this will bring up the entry line Use the upper arrow key to go to function number one. And here is where we're going to edit a function. And we're going to make something that has a maximum. So I'm going to change this by putting a negative symbol in front of it. And I'm going to change this by making it a positive term. And then press Enter. OK, similar to before, um, we have a parabola that's going up and we want to find the maximum of this function press menu 6 analyze graphs and this time we're going to find maximum set your lower boundary and upper boundary and you can move this text over a little bit 
And similar to what we did before, we're going to change the precision of that Y coordinate. Press the menu key, choose actions, select number four attributes, and we want to change the attribute of this text. And we're going to change the precision from three to four. And there we go, 14.25. All right, hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.